What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Saints here. We are back in the world. The 1.12 2 pack. Fuck. And then, of course, my client freezes, because why not? We're not recording. Why would we Why would we want to be able to move? All right, we're good to go again. Hopefully, you guys are having a fan. What the? What the? Ow! Where the? Oh, hi. All right, you just chill over there, all right? Cletus, fucking asshole. Um, we've made some progress. We've made some progress, and mainly it's just bullshit grinding shit that uh, I try not to. I I'm trying to cut out most of the bullshit grinding stuff, so you guys don't have to look at it. <laughs> how about how about this stuff here? You liking that? Um, so we did set up the um, tree farm, and one of the problems I was having is we were very rapidly <laughs> filling this stuff up, and it was it was becoming a problem. It was becoming a problem. And so, um, mainly this was filling up and then, you know, just bad stuff. And so, what I did was we, I, I wanted to get it automated. So, the problem was I wasn't sure where we were going to put things. And I showed you guys the caches um, last episode, I think. Um, and the caches are way, way over there. So, I decided we'd run some pipe. We laid some pipe uh, right here. Oh, I was really hoping I could make that jump. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? What was that? All right. So up here we have a pipe and I want to show you guys this. You have to get a configurator. Configurator is made like this PCB. I've shown you guys how to make before easy stuff, um, enriched, etc., etc. You'll notice if I hold my cursor here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a difference between this and the actual junction. Now, this cargo manager, unlike most things in uh, Mechanism, doesn't have an auto eject feature. So just hooking this pipe up to it does jack shit. You've got to actually, did I break it? Oh, I guess I could, oh no. Yeah, I broke it. Okay, so that's part of the problem with this thing. You can actually break it, break it. Um, you can fix it, but all right, so it's back. All right, and you can see it's, we're, we now got the top thing, I've got it selected, and boom, it's switched to push, and now it's switched to pull. Push obviously takes shit from here and shoves it into there, and pull obviously takes stuff, well, maybe not obviously, but it takes stuff from up here and pulls it down. So what happens with it? Well, you can see there goes the cobblestone. It's a zoom, 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 and you poom, poom, taken off. And this stuff goes all the way down here. Now I'm going to cover this up so it's not quite such an, an eyesore, which is kind of funny considering I'm fixing to make the world's, oh, have I shown you all this? <laughs> the world's biggest god dang eyesore. Yeah, this didn't look like this yesterday, did it? No. No, it did not. It's, and it's not even done yet. I mean, we haven't even started. I mean, like, here, let me, let me show you guys over here. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking legendary. I like how the, we've got the, the sky full of floating trees. We haven't even gotten into this stuff over here. So all of this stuff is is gonna get get ganked next. Uh, it was in the process. I love how it freezes when it runs out of juice. It is literally mid block break here. It's like, Ugh! and I love how it's run out of power. But apparently, it can maintain this this laser beam of death, even though it's out of juice. Which <laughs> there's a part of me that finds rather humorous. So. Anyways, um, I did make a couple extra um, doohickeys here because we get a lot of saplings, we get a lot of apples, and we get a lot of trees. I went ahead and removed birch from the system uh, because I don't want any more birch trees. Um, and thankfully, I, I think I've managed to get, yeah, we've only got oak saplings going and, and that'll only put that stuff in here. Uh, and this thing is actually oddly efficient. Like, this is run all day today. Well, no. All night tonight. It's been about three hours of gameplay since the last time y'all saw it. Maybe two hours. A lot of it's been AFK and stuff. Um, this just doesn't burn a lot of coal. Which is fine with me. Which is absolutely fine with me. So, now that we've got this over here, um, the tree farm is 
sixty percent automated. The only thing I have to do now is get the fuel side going, which we're working on. You can notice this has changed a little bit here. I've added some engines. Yes, I've added quite a few engines. Now we're going to actually be adding some pipes here too, like this, because I'm going to be inserting uh, coal into these bad boys. Now, if I wanted to, we could be hyper efficient here and I could set another um, engine up like this and we could have another like a third tier and then I could actually drop this down and that's that's what I've done in other episodes or other series with different engines that also function kind of like this uh, by making basically what looks like a piston and so down here we could also set another one of these pipes and have a whole row so you have a roll up top a roll of bottom roll left roll right um, the reason I haven't done that is I'm worried that we might actually hit the cap on these pipes. And if we hit the cap on the pipes, um, I mean, it's not a terrible deal. I can fix that by, um, what do you call it? Uh, increasing the pipe, but I'd rather not do that yet. If I don't have to, I wanna see what this is gonna run when all these bad mamma jammas are uh, cooking with gas, so to speak. There we go. Um, and I'm probably going to set up the stuff right here. Now, you'll notice this is actually, well, you may not notice, but here, I'll show you. We're actually right above the, the holes that we made. So there's, there's, a, there's a bogusly deep hole down there, Ted. Um, that hole is obviously the quarry hole um, and the other quarry hole is right next to it. And I kind of expanded it a little bit to make it nice and big. Um, and we may increase this in size as we kind of go. Um, this is just the first step. So the goal here is to kind of see how this is gonna work. Now, the other thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to automate the quarry. And the quarry's automation is gonna be a little bit more tricky. And the reason I say that is because there are an absolute asinine amount of um, stuff in here. So what we're going to probably end up doing is have to have a two-stage sorting system because this right here is pretty basic and it's pretty dumb. All it does is really just, you know, take whatever you put into it and suck it out. Um, we need something a little... Oh, hell yes. Dude, I've done that like 50 times. That's the first set of C's I've gotten. There we go. Um... Where was I? Brain. Dumb smarting si or dumb smarting system. Dumb sorting system. Um, so because of the way the mechanism pipes work, they're just stupid and they just pull whatever you put in them, which is fine. That's kind of what we want, sort of, for now. But the problem is when I have an absolute shit ton of, say, cobblestone and gravel and sand and all that stuff, but then I've also got a small amount of iron, a small amount of appetite, lapis, redstone, uh, and any of the other 500 billion different types of things that can come in here. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably set some kind of... I really don't know, because uh, basically anything I extract from here... Maybe with Ender IO I can do it. I'm I'm not sure. What what I can do is is with something like Buildcraft I could pump it out and then I could filter it. And so like cobblestone goes to one chest, dirt goes with it, you know, gravel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and then everything else goes to the other system. And then we use mechanism pipes to cache the stuff that's that's you know important uh, or not important. Uh, the legitimate, the the exact opposite of what I just said. The the shit that doesn't matter would get cashed, and the stuff that is important wouldn't. So, I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet. I haven't gotten through the logistics in my mind. Um, I'm perfectly happy to take uh, recommendations. So, if you've got an idea that you think is good, uh, feel free to uh, leave it in the comment section down below, and I will take that under advisement. So... Um, but when this thing kicks on, I think, 
I don't remember how many engines this is. Two, four, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I was about to say, I think it's about eighteen. Uh, so that's thirty-six engines, um, and I still have four left because I went for an even forty <coughs> at forty, and I think it's thirty a piece. That would be what six hundred. Forty times thirty, no, nine hundred. Yeah, I think it's like 900 MJs a tick. I don't know how much this thing can take. So the other issue that we're going to run into is uh, this is a lot of coal. I don't know how thirsty these engines are because never really done them at bulk uh, or not at bulk at at production or at uh, capacity, I guess you could say. So we are going to need to let's see energized. A furnace yep there we go um and then we click on you that turns into this we are going to need to upgrade this to at least an advanced um and i think this is fairly Ooh, that is that is that is ugly yeah that's that's kind of that's kind of uggo okay so this one's not so bad no that's literally the, that's literally the one you were just looking at borrow uh what about this one this isn't bad. This is easy. Okay, so we'll do it that route. Yeah, we'll go that route. So with that route, we, we do it. We don't do the electronics, we do the basic control circuits, which are just gonna get us up to, yeah, that'll get us up to the uh, middle factory. And then there's one above that. And that one, unfortunately, is gonna require a bit of diamonds, which, whoop, screen just killed on me. There we go. So we can go up one level of factory. Now, going up one level of factory is going to take us from, I think, three to five, is it? Well, let's let's do the math. So I'm gonna need four enriched alloys and then four, five, six, seven, eight enriched alloys. God dang it. There we go. Uh, do I have that much iron? Uh, did I say eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Shit. All right, put that in there. And I've got 60. I think I need to put one more in there. Did it go in? 70. We'll put one more. And I just realized I actually have some basic control circuits here. So that will actually save me some time because I just have to turn the basics into advanced. So that'll save me two more, which I think I didn't account for anyway. There we go. There's the advanced. Perfect. Perfect. Give me you. So the other option, I mean, I would obviously love to get to the elite factories because the elite factories are just absolutely ridiculous. Um, the problem with the elite factory though, uh, you know, obviously is the materials. So what we can do is we can start increasing their productivity by adding upgrades to them. Um, the problem with adding upgrades to them is they start to become extremely thirsty for materials. So I don't know if this is going to be sufficient to handle, uh, an advanced factory at load. In fact, I'd, I'd almost guarantee it won't. Um, but at the same time, it's only one machine, so it's possible it will? I guess we'll find out. Uh, I don't think we'll find out in this episode, but we will find out. You, you do everything. Yes, I do. All right, so here is the slightly more advanced, and as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. Five options there. Uh, auto sort. I can't even tell if that's on because it's so grayed out. Um, either way, we need to find out about the upgrades. So upgrade. There are two types of upgrades, and I got to find them. One is energy, and one is um, speed. I believe. So the energy one increases the. No, that's extra utilities. That's, and okay, we'll just do it the other way. Mecca like a high, make a honey ho. If you get that, you are a 90s kid like me. All right, so speed upgrades. Uh, we're gonna need seven of these. So we need seven osmium dust. And for this one, we need 
seven gold dust. I don't think I have... Yeah, we, we actually physically don't have the gold for the energy upgrade. That is going to kill us and make this a non-starter. I mean, we can do it. Um, it's just legit literally not going to work. Um, and the reason behind that is... Uh, we'll just put eight up in there. The reason is, as this increases the effectiveness or the speed, so to speak... Um, it also increases the amount of energy that it uses. So as that energy usage spikes and gets higher and higher and higher and higher, um, I need eight osmium dust. Give me that. Uh, is it eight? No, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. And boom. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and feed some sand into this and watch that pretty thing go. Are we... Okay, we're holding steady. Are you holding steady? You are. Okay. Well, that's two machines running. So that's a good sign. Uh, it's definitely not a... It's not a bad sign. Uh, and then just waiting on that glass to come out. There we go. Pull that out. Did I not get that middle one? How did I not get that middle one? I literally ran my cursor over it. Okay. So that gives us two. So the cool thing about these is you just... Or at least this is the way it used to work. Where'd they go? There they are. You just put them up here and... Okay, it's not working like it used to work. You used to just put them right here and they did their little thing. Now, auto sort energy items. Where's the... That used to be the... Maybe the upgrades over here on the right now? What the fuck? There they are. No. No. Upgrades. Okay. really weird there they go okay i was like what the fuck man all right so we're at 1.7 x speed we got two more that we can do that means i'm gonna need even more of this uh one two three four five six seven eight we are getting dangerously low da did i just say dang dangerous we woe on we sources my tongue isn't working today it's it's on strike it doesn't like me deal with it um what am i missing osmium dust i thought i really oh there it is yeah okay i was about to say i could have sworn we did the math i mean it's it's me so me doing math obviously it's kind of prone to error there we go i'm curious where that's going to put us up to wow you, so you can put it you still only be able to put seven in so that's four yeah, we're going to jack this up to max before we try it again because uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor inside of me just won't let me not. Okay. There it is. I thought we had enough for two. Is it? Oh, it's glass. Meh. Well, I guess I lied. Oh, well. How are we doing on energy? Hey! Use a boss. Okay, how are we doing over here? Oh, there you go. <laughs> so we pegged the cable. Yeah, the cable's pegged. Alright, so this thing can handle it. Um, apparently, maybe. Uh, but the other thing can't. Which is uh, kind of a given. That's alright, that's alright. That's two more. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make the situation worse. It's like, we've... It's, Captain, we're already out of speed. Wait, what are you doing? No, don't do that. No, please. No. Yeah, we're going to just keep shoving it in there. All right, so these are advanced universal cables. Advanced universal cables. To up... Shit. To upgrade that to the next one, we need a reinforced alloy, which requires diamond dust. Do I actually have any diamonds to dust? I don't think we do. I don't think we've gotten like a single freaking diamond in a while. So yeah, even even if I wanted to do that, we can't, which is a real bummer. Um, I am curious, and this is one of those weird things. What do I do with the pipes? I know I've got them around here somewhere. There they are. I wonder if this will work. So the issue here isn't the aggregate. There we go. So he's pulling. 
And how much can these do a second? Does it? Oh, 5.12. Yeah, no wonder. That's that's like practically nothing. 20,000. Okay. And then we've got four more. Let's go ahead and finish these off real quick. Um, uh, great. I should be able to find them. And there it is. When you've made enough of them. What am I missing? Is it the ground osmium again? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because we had to do one more. Derp. There we go. So now we're maxed. Perfect. So I put there and then boom. And that should put us at seven. And there we go at eight. So at eight, it is 10 times the speed. So um, let's just see what that looks like. Did you see how fast that thing ate the juice? Drained this and drained that. So it's possible I could hook. Yeah, and this is just going to get worse. The, the sad thing about this is when you max it out this much, it actually becomes less efficient because it's burning so much fuel to do that you'd be better off running it with a fraction of the stuff. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get some diamonds, focus on getting that caught up um, and get some energy efficiencies in this. And I think once we get eight energy efficiencies in this, it might actually run off of this. Now, it won't run off of this this cable. We're going to have to go to the next cables. But once we get once we get the efficiencies in there, I think we might be good. Um, so anyways, what we're going to do with that is we'll be setting it over here. And I will be yanking out of this bad boy right here. Um... And I'll have to do it above board. I'd love to do it underground, but that's not going to work. It's going to have to come above ground because I, I, I mean, I could pull out from here, but which I might do. I guess I could just set the thing right here, pull out straight out the back and import it straight in the front. Um, yeah, that might work. I don't know if I don't know if I can make the machine touch and if it'll just yank out of the cache. Um, some of that could cause crashes, so I'm a little worried about that. I know back in the day, if you set something up in a deep storage unit and then tried to pull it out with a machine, you'd just kill your world. Um, so I'm, I'm a little afraid of doing that. If one of y'all wants to test that for me, any volunteers? I, do I see any hands? No? No? Oh, okay. Just, just me? So anyways, in the next episode, um, I'm going to have the factory up and running. Um, this is going to feed into that, which will then feed into all of these, which is then going to feed into this Mamma Jamma, which is then going to eat the world. Um, and we're going to see how fast this thing can go when you shove, um, well, what, 600 uh, MJs into it. And then if that's not enough... We will uh, expand this into a full-blown... Of course, I don't know if the tree farm is going to be able to support this. That's that's the other thing. <laughs> I know it'll support the uh, the Coke ovens, but uh, I don't know about this. That's, that's a lot of trees, man. That's a whole lot of trees. So, we'll see. And obviously, this isn't going to be permanent. We're just doing this right now for shits and giggles because I'm out of my mind but uh, eventually we're going to move on to other things but we'll see so that's uh, that's the current setup you guys have been caught up hopefully you guys are enjoying this series um, help me out if you are by uh, slapping the like button leave a comment in the comment section that uh, tells the uh, YouTube algorithm that uh, you think my content's worth looking at and you want to kind of share it around so other people will see it which helps me grow which encourages me to do more and uh definitely is appreciated and uh and helps immensely uh feel free to leave some comments in the comment section that also helps the algorithm uh it's it's engagement of any kind that tells the algorithm to uh, to pay attention uh, i do read all of my comments i love tips i love tricks and i'll give you a shout out if uh, i end up using something that you mentioned that being said folks that's it for me guys appreciate the support you guys have a great weekend and i'll catch you guys in the next club